In today's video, we are going to be taking a Spike Brew and putting a little twist of our own onto it. When looking at Spike's Brew, he's playing four Halflings and four One Rings, but I really didn't like the feel of only four Mana Dorks. So I decided to add some Ignoble Hierarchs in the main, Liliana, because I love her so much. He also was playing Mosswood Dread Knight in the main, which I thought was wild when you're already playing the One Ring. So I decided to add Torox to the list, cut the Tarmogoyfs, and almost go for a more controlling variant. So we're going to be trying this cool brew through a League of Modern in seeing if the rock can finally have a different shell. Match one, we are on the play, and our hand's a little too landlight, so we'll mull. And our six looks great, we'll put back a Verdant. We'll lead on turn one, tap two. When it goes Misty, we find another land. And on the end step, they cast a Consider. When it goes Scalding Tarn to Preordain, we top deck another land. Uh, we'll play out our Blooming March, passing back. When it plays out a Flooded Strand into a Sleight of Hand. And on the end step, we will flash in our Bowmasters. Ooh, Halfling off the top, not bad. We'll attack in for two. Then we will play out our Halfling into a tap two, passing back. And on our end step, they bolt down our bowmaster they cast out a preordain oh my goodness into a lotus field i did not expect this they cast out a hidden strings on tapping their lands then they cycle the vizier and then they cast out a one ring nothing else okay so we're not dead we will draw a card Horrock is not horrible it leads on a hidden strings on tapping their lands into another strings then they cast out a wish Casting an Underworld Breach. But we do still have protection, so I'm going to skip to the end of this scene if we die somehow. Opponent ends up milling their entire deck with Tome Scour, untapping stuff with their, you know, Twiddle effects, and then casting out Thoughts Oracle. So let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out four Push, two Edicts, and two Lilianas for Torok, three Terra Sunders, and four Endurance. Game two, our starting hand is quite strong, so we will keep. We'll go turn one Marsh into a Halfling. Opponent goes turn one Tarn. We top deck a one ring. Let's go. Guess we'll poke in for one. And they cast a Consider. Let's cast a Bowmasters here. Shoot them for one they play out an Ottawara. we top deck an ignoble we'll play that then attack in with the team and they cast an is it charm killing our bowmaster when it floats two mana and plays out a lotus field untapping it with dreams grip then they cast out a preordain and they cast out an underworld breach no way they untap their land cast out another preordain and twiddle on their lotus field please opponent don't kill me and after all of that they cast out a one ring Ooh, top took bloodstained mire as well oh well let's cast out our shieldred uncounter as well he didn't activate one ring in response and then we attack in for three they activate the one ring oh wait why did i attack and they're down to eight they take another trigger they're down to six then they cast consider losing another two then they cast out eight hidden strings casting out a breach no way i don't think we can lose from here though i guess they can is it charm twice three times on our nah, there's no way they flash back up preordain yeah i think they're just dead here i don't know how they can win yeah okay let's go game three game three we don't have a bowmaster or a shieldred and Inquisition's just not going to cut, so it's small. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand is way stronger. We'll put back a Torok. Opponent goes turn one Island into Slight. Top deck a Tomb. We'll shock that in and go turn one Hierarch. Opponent plays a Tap Steam Vince. We'll play out our Forest and then fire off an Inquisition. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, we'll take their Underworld Breach. They shock in a Steam Vince and then transmute their T-West. Picking up a Lotus. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a good one. God, I don't know which one to play. I'm going to play Shieldred. I know this might be wrong, but... But I think it's better. Opponent floats two mana, plays out a Lotus Field, then cast a Preordain, Trigor. They untap their two lands, cast out a One Ring. <laughs> but do we have an answer for them? And they didn't even activate it. Oh, baby. All right, we'll gain two. They didn't draw a card with the One Ring. Trigger. They play out Ottawara. We don't take another Bowmaster. All right, uh, attack for five. And they cast a Consider. Sure. Trigger. They're down to four. All right. And they end step a Dress Down. Oh my, look at this blowout incoming. Uh, blowout? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh! What am I doing? Ugh, I meant to- Whatever, I'm so annoyed. If I lose this game, it is completely my fault. Yeah, they untap their one ring, draw two more. I have a feeling this game's over for us. And they have another Lotus Field. I'm gonna be surprised if they don't somehow have a win from here. They cast a Consider into another Consider into a Prayer Day. Uh, they have a Dream Script. Okay. Into another Dream Script, drawing five with the One Ring. Okay, slide a hand. Only one blue left in their pool, please. No, stop. Stop. No! All right, I'm gonna concede. They definitely have this win. I misclicked. Oh, we should be 1 0. Let's go on to match two.
match two we're on the play and our starting hand looks fine we'll go turn one swamp and fire off an inquisition are we up against the si what the heck this is actually crazy to me yes we're gonna take a hidden strings i'm gonna place a tap sandbar we'll fire off another inquisition take the vizier then we will fetch shock casting a thought sees taking their one ring opponent fetch shocks plays out of consider then cast their beard in another thought sees for us our opponent hates us yeah we'll take the one ring then we'll play out the sage you opponent plays out a misty we will fetch out a swamp and kick out our Torok. We went turn one discard, turn two double discard, turn three Thoughtseize into turn four them to Torok. Discard just makes me so happy. And we find a Thoughtseize. We could keep on, you know, making our opponent hate this game, but uh, we'll play Shieldred. An opponent scoops it up. Let's get on to sideboarding. And we're going to the same sideboard plan here. Game two, we have a turn three Torok and two discard spells. So, yeah, let's keep up on the discard train. Opponent goes turn one Delta. We find a Mire. We'll go turn one Mar into a half lane they play an island into another consider another land for the home team not great let's fire off inquisition <laughs> uh their hand's not very good here we will take the vizier then we'll fetch out a swamp and take their one ring i guess we might as well also attack in for one here and on our instep they do cycle their sandbar when it plays out a thassa's oracle putting a card on top then they play out a lotus field Ooh, i still think it's better to cast torak out here one ring is good but we can do that next turn all right we are kicking the torak and opponent discards t west and a scalding tarn opponent cast a sleight of hand nothing else from them <laughs> all right we'll play a uh, big mama children play out a tap tomb and then attack in for four i'm gonna cast a twiddle on their lotus field into a one ring drawing a card now trigger they're down to eight land no stop stop doing things okay they just find a tap land cool <laughs> another one ring for us we will cast one of them out draw on a card right away and we'll play out our blooming marsh all right they got a trigger from the one ring they're gonna draw for turn get a trigger and they can't even act with one ring or else they die don't cast out a breach casting a sleight of hand from yard you're gonna need to find a dress down to have a chance here then they cast a dreams grip untapping their field flashback another dreams grip from the yard making more mana making even more mana wonder if they have like ugin or something here oh they're transmuting okay for an auto Wara? All right. Bouncing Shieldred. Activating the One Ring. Honestly, big props to the opponent here. This is pretty impressive that they've even gotten to this uh, line here. They Dreams Grip their Lotus. Dreams Grip their One Ring. And uh, I kind of think they're going to win from here. And they flash back Dreams Grip, drawing five more cards. They play out an Island, firing off Consider. Holy, wait, hold. They kept a card on top, though. Ugh. Oh my god, we win? Well, whatever. We, uh, we got our revenge match. Let's get on to match number three. Match three, we are on the play, and our starting hand looks great. We'll go turn one Swamp into an Inquisition. Well, I think DRC is the best card in hand, so we will take that. Final goes turn one Breeding Pool into a Preordain. And they go one top, one at the bottom, and then play out two Mishra's Bobbles. Ooh, an Iggy. Okay, let's fire off our Thoughtseize. And again, we'll just take the threat here, then go Fetch Shock and play out Iggy. Well, it plays out a Mountain into a DRC, casting out a Preordain. And we top deck another Iggy, so let's just play out our Lily and get a down tick. I haven't done this in so long. It feels so good oh plays out a soul scar mage into another peer dame and a halfling off the top for us we will tick up get rid of our ignoble then play out a halfling opponent plays seek the beast never seen this card before exiling a peer dame and a light up the stage and they attack our lily we'll fire off a push on the soul scar and no land for them yikes <laughs> Uh, all right, let's play out our one ring. Uh, Shieldred would be nice, but we're going to draw now. Then we will tick up with Lily, discard our land. An opponent discards a bolt, and they scoop it up. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to cut two Torox, four Ignobles, and a Halfling for three EE and four Endurance. Game two, our opponent keeps a seven, and we'll join them. They go turn one Mountain into a DRC. We find a Misty. We'll go Urborg into a Thoughtseize. And let's take their EI. They shock in a Breeding Pool and play out a Questing Druid. Ooh, push is a good draw. We will play out a Verdant and pass bruh come on now all right well they cast an yeah out and we're gonna make them decide now by casting our edict and they get rid of their drc they exile a bloodstained mire playing it out shocking in a steam vents and casting out a pure dam then they poke in for three we find a blooming marsh we'll play that and we'll fire off a push now they fire off another ei exiling a drc they shock in a steam vents and then play out a drc into a pure dam as well then a lava dart thoughts he's off the top we will play out a misty and slam a wondering and we'll draw a card now i will cast out a swiss spear attacks in and nothing else who land for us will fire off an inquisition and we're gonna take their unholy heat then shock in an overgrown tomb 
plane out our shielded, and then activate the wandering, and we gain four life. Oh, opponent top deck to non holy heat. That's so good. Then they fire off a preordain. Then they attack in, fire off a bolt at face, then cast a lava dart. Yeah, and they can just flash back to lava darts, and they even have a meter junk goats. Yep, yep, they're gonna have lethal here. We will have to scoop it up and get on to game three. Game three, our sorry hand looks quite strong. We will lead on a fat shock into a halfling. They shock in a steam vents and play out a soul scar. We top deck another endurance. We will play out our swamp and hold up bow masters. And they go to combat. So we're gonna fire off our bow masters now. We're gonna ping their soul scar and then just block with our one one army. <laughs> oh, easy trades. And they flat out another soul scar. Fatal push. Yeah, that's fine. We will kill their soul scar and we'll attack him with our bow master. They flat out a swifty and they attack and we will block. They did have a immunogenic. Interesting. <laughs> another fatal push. Yeah, we'll fire that off and no attacks for us. And another swift spear into a bobble. Holy swift spears. A land would be so nice. A green land, I should specify. Green land, green land, green land, green land. Oh, wait, we get a trigger off their bobble. Sweet. Ah. All right, I guess we're attacking them for one. Well, now any land next turn is good. Punch shocks in their breeding pool, plays out of DRC, then attacks in. We will not block. I hate this game. All right, well, I guess we're passing back. They cast out an EI, putting a land into the yard, and they exile a preordain, playing out a scalding tarn. Then they play out a preordain, which in response, we will shield Rick's Edict. And they do get rid of their Swifty. And since they're drawing, we will ping their DRC. And before combat, we'll evoke out an endurance, getting rid of their yard. Land, land, yes! All right, we will attack in, fetch out a forest, and then play out our Lily, ticking up. They play out a Swift Spear into an EI. Then they play out a Bobble and attack our Lily for three. Land, please, let's go. All right, we will attack in. Opponents down to two. We will shock in our tomb, play out a one ring, and then tick up with our Lily. That's <laughs> another EI. Holy EIs. Exiling a DRC, playing that out. And they attack down our Lily. We will draw a card. We have so many ways to win this game. That works. We will fatal push their DRC. And they scoop it up. Let's get on to match number four. Match four, we're on the play, and our starting hand's quite strong. We'll go turn one shock in our tomb and play out a halfling. An opponent plays out a blue marsh. What are we up against? No way. I'm going to assume this is Yagmoth. Let's fire off a Thoughtseize. Okay, yes, it is. But I think I'm more afraid of the cord. So we'll take the cord, and then we will fetch out a swamp and fire off an edict, killing their halfling. Oh, no, it goes beside you into a geist, attacking for two. Another land for us. Let's go. We'll pick up a forest, play out our one ring, draw a card now, beside you huge more lands oh, it plays out a twilight mire into a guild goose then plays out a cauldron Ooh. <laughs> good old she old red we will play that out then we will draw two cards getting two triggers and we're just gonna fetch out another forest and play out a halfling oh, it plays out a tap tomb and nothing else draw a high arc get some triggers and draw three cards play out a high arc play out a halfling attack in for five then we'll play a tap tomb fire off our push on the goose and in response they do make another food then they activate their cauldron and in response we will besage you it and it plays out a verdant into a grist picking up we lose three off the one ring gain two off our shield should activate draw four wow this is really <laughs> such like awkward draws for us another high arc we'll play out a high arc then we will play out a bow masters pinging their insect and we'll attack everything at grist and they do eat one of our halflings but Gris goes down. An opponent scoops it up. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out two Lily and two Bowmaster for four endurance. Game two. Our hand's just a little too slow here, so we got them all. And this just needs a payoff, so we will keep. And we're going to put back a land. And it goes turn one halfling. Ooh, little edict. So let's go turn one marsh and do an inquis. And yeah, I guess we got to take the cauldron. And it plays out a mire into a wall of roots. Then they play out a strangle root geist. Tacking in for two. We find a land. We'll shock that in and play out both of our dorks. Or it attacks in for another two. <laughs> play out a cauldron unfortunate aha another high arc yeah we're gonna play that out and then run out a tapped overgrown tomb oh it tacks in for another two we'll just take it oh no they have a legendary spell oh it's just a hapatra okay that's fine let's go yeah we're definitely gonna play this out it plays out a swamp and attacks in so we are gonna fire off a shieldred's edict making them sacrifice a non-token creature hopefully they sacrifice the geist and they sacrifice their wall oh, that's kind of a heads up play by them we'll cast out our endurance target them they're probably going to eat their wall with their uh, tr uh, cauldron and they do eat their cauldron and put the counter on their half lane so we will eat their hapatra then they play out a haywire mine land for us we will attack in for six with our endurance 
and they do take it and we'll pass back uh the top deck of yog and we are dead but i'm not sure why they did it this way we'll scoop it up and get on to game three. Uh, yeah this hand's pretty good we'll lead on turn one shocking in a tomb and a high arc when it goes turn one tomb into a fatal push we top deck another land they play out a young woof we top deck a one ring we'll play out a burden they play out another woof into a third woof all right we need a land so bad please untapped land untapped land untapped land untapped land untapped land let's go fetch out a forest fetch out two swamps oh uh, man i wish i had a green card so bad though no <laughs> Bro, what a blowout. Oh my god. No, no. Don't tell me a veil and Yogmoth. All right. Well, we tried, folks. I'll see you all in the last match. Match five, we are on the draw and our starting hand looks great. Opponent goes turn one Misty. We will lead on a forest into a high arc. Opponent untaps, evoking out a solitude to kill our high arc. What a, what a gamer. <laughs> into a Lorne revealed being cycled, picking up a Zygoth Triome. Guess we're up against four color snooze. We find a Verdant. We'll play out our Mire. They play out a Boseju into an Ewit, picking up a solitude. Interesting. All right, well, we'll fetch out a Swamp and push this thing. Ooh, thoughtsies. Yes, sir. Uh, goodbye, Lime Omnath. Then we'll play out a Verdant. They play out a Hallowed Fountain. Ooh, we found another One Ring, so we will play out one of them. They shock in a Watery Grave and play out a Prismatic Ending, so we'll try and draw a card. If they Ley Line by... Okay, they don't Ley Line by any. I, I'm not shocked by them. All right, we will take that two for one, and then we will play out another One Ring into... Oh, nope, they uh, fire off the Ley Line by any, so we'll just activate this now. We do find a push and play out a Tap Tomb. Nothing from the opponent we will play a land land go for opponent land go for us a bean stock for the opponent so we will flash in a bow master shoot them for one are you kidding me they even have a ley line binding for this all right well we will ping them again and they take out our bow masters Ooh, another bow master we'll attack in for two they play a tap breeding pool we draw another land we'll attack in for two and on our end step they flash in a solitude killing our orc and then we will cast out an edict making them sack their solitude they play out an omnath and with the draw on the stack we will fetch pick out a pick up a forest fire off a push on their omnath and then flash in a bowmasters pinging the opponent for one and then we'll get another trigger shooting them again and they play out a manamu oh two to two to warrock all right we will uh kick out a warrock oh man they lose our sword dude let's go then we will play out a shieldred and i think we're actually gonna win this one attack them for three they're gonna have to find it yep they scoop it up let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna trim four push and an inquisition for two torok and three terra sunders game Game two hand is very impressive here and they go tap breeding pool we top deck a high arc we will go fetch shock and fire off a thoughtsies oh i think this might be a dingo brew damn you dingo yeah i guess we're gonna take the uh the bane stock are you bro <laughs> all right whatever this game it hates me all right let's fetch out a forest play out two halflings they play out a misty Ooh, tear thunder oh, that's actually really good uh we'll play out our swamp and then cast out a torok please no veil please no veil Please no veil. Thank goodness. All right. Goodbye. Bring the lion. They do keep their one ring though, which is scary. We'll play at our hierarch. And they do play out the one ring. Drawing a card right away. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if what's better. I think we play out the one ring here. Weird as that sounds. Then we'll draw a card now. Play out a tap tomb. And we won't. It. Uh, actually, let's just tear us under this now. I don't think there's any reason to wait. Opponent fetch shocks for a temple garden. Then cast out a solitude. Not sure where this is going. Our hierarch makes sense. Thoughtsies. All right, let's play out our shieldred. Draw two cards. Gain some life. Fire off a of thoughtsies. Uh... Uh, okay, they concede. I don't have to make a decision. All right, overall, I really do like this list. I think Inspiring Spike had some good ideas and some bad ideas. I think the eight mana dorks makes a lot more sense. I really like playing Torox main. I didn't like the Lily. I think I'd almost play like three, maybe four Torox. I'm not sure. Maybe three is the better sweet spot. Another Shieldrix Edith. That card is super impressive. Inquisition was like, all this was super impressive. I think maybe the only like other thing that you could change about this list is maybe switch up the sideboards a little bit not sure what we're really worried about like we did lose some close games i think this could have very easily been a 5-0 if we drawed better if i didn't make that misplay in the first match but as for the lands there are some like i i really do think that there are some lands that could be played in this deck i'm not sure what they would be but some more utility lands would definitely help but anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one